Let's go. Day one of rehab starts today. 28 to go. <laughs> What's with the jacket? I have an audition today. When the, the day of the movie begins, Eli thinks that um, everything will work out according to his uh, very specific plan, which is to get his mother into rehab and then to do his audition. I don't qualify for detox rehab. But if I get high and can produce dirty urine... So let's do it then. I will pay for it. It'll be my treat. But she doesn't get to go into rehab because she's not high, so we have to go get her drugs. You knock on the door and you ask for Sprinkle. What up? Hey. And you give him the money and then you get out of there, all right? Pull out. What are you, a vending machine? You're a drug dealer. Three up time, Holmes. I'll go with you. How does that sound? Hell yeah, that's cool. For more than the son's 24 some years, the mom's been imbibing one drug or another. You know, one thing leads to another and it becomes a very chaotic day. Your son worked for me and so do you. The first person she thinks of to go to is, you know, an old friend who's the kind of town drug dealer. He likes it's oxy. You about to be stratosphere, both son. Buckle up, kids. It's about to get wild and woolly in here. Sprinkles is a complex character. He's a drug dealer. He sees a kid heading down the same road forcibly by his mother. So he tries to save this kid. You got a gift. You gotta fight for what you love, man. Don't ever lay down, not even once. If you do, you never get back up. It was difficult for me to really do this role because it brought back so many memories of my own childhood and young life. It's a serious subject, uh, you know, drugs in a home with children. But the film, we are very much on purpose, and thank God for Tracy Morgan, um, are lightning. You better know that Spanish. Oh, he knows Spanish. I'm gonna whoop your ass, and you can believe that. He look half Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, he's Jewish. Got good hair. So I have to go buy my mother drugs. Uh, that sounds maybe like an absurd premise, but it's because I have to get her into this rehab, and it comes from the realness of the characters. Everyone has many sides to them, many possibilities, and it does depend upon the choices that person makes. I'm pulling him one way, she's pulling another, and ultimately he makes his own decision. I'm All right, no, 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 I'll just please, walk you in. Let me just walk you in. No, 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 right? I'm fine. Please might... don't come in. You're probably screwed up somehow. I'm fine, okay? Stay here. Okay, now I'll just be right here. Thank you. Sorry. Damn, that was harsh. Yeah, that was ice cold. Oh, bravo! Oh, no, no, what the hell are you doing here? You gotta go, because you see, my mom's got a drug dealer waiting for us in the yeah. car. And... <laughs> oh, no, you know what? He's right here. What's up? Gotta make a pickup. He's having a rough day. 